What would you say if I told you the reason you're losing PvP battles in Sea of Thieves has nothing to do with skill? Well, stay tuned because I'm going to show you how you can give yourself the advantage in every fight you take. You could be killing more pirates more often, sinking more ships, and grabbing more booty than you ever dreamed of. That's right, all the booty in your hands. But first, if this is your first time on the channel, please consider supporting me by subscribing for more videos just like this one. It's my goal to become a Sea of Thieves partner and I can't do it without you. Now let's get right into it. Ahoy you scurvy pirates, Captain Jack is back with another Sea of Thieves video. Today I'm going to give you 5 quick tips on how you can give yourself the advantage over other pirates on the Sea of Thieves. Now what do I mean by advantage? Well, if you have a way of making it just a little bit harder for the other pirate to kill you, then that's giving you an advantage. So tip number one, stock up on supplies. There are a lot of pirates who only care about PVP. They've never done a tall tale. They can't tell you where Sharkbait Cove is without searching all over the map. And they think gunpowder kegs spawn in crow's nests because they wouldn't know where to find them in the game. They're server hoppers. This means that they won't have as good of supplies as you. So every time you leave your ship, make sure that your pockets are empty so you can grab extra planks, cannonballs, and food. If it's a ship versus ship battle, maybe you can outlast them by having more planks. You don't want to run out of cannonballs because you just fought a skeleton ship, but because you're stocking up at every opportunity, you will be better prepared than them. Maybe you can hit them with cursed cannonballs like a ballast ball or an anchor ball to get them off of your tail. And that takes us to our next tip. Tip number two, use cannonballs wisely. Understand how to use and the best way to use all the different cannonballs in the game. Know when to change between regular cannonballs and cursed cannonballs. If you're primarily acting in self-defense, you have blunder bombs on you to help knock other pirates off your ladder or ship easily enough. If you're playing more of an offensive role and attacking other pirates, do you have fire bombs ready to go? And if you're trying to make it so a ship can't run away, you have chain shots ready. If you haven't checked it out already, be sure to watch my video on chain shots to see just how effective they can be to shift the advantage in your favor, even when you're outnumbered. Tip number three, get good food. Yep, sometimes the person with the better food wins the fights. If you only have to eat once to completely refill your health, while they have to eat two or three times, then that gives you the advantage. So stock up on the best fruit you can. And if you really want to take your food game to the next level, eat cooked meat. Not only does it give you more health, you get two bites out of each piece and you get regeneration. That's right, cooked meat will grant a health regeneration effect on top of its base health gains. Health regeneration is an effect that kicks in 10 seconds after taking damage. Meat healing goes like this. You get a 30% health gain by eating regular fish, 75% health gain by eating trophy fish, 50% health gain by eating chicken, pork, snake, and shark, and 100% health gain by eating kraken and megalodon. On top of that, 10 seconds after taking damage, you get an additional health regeneration of 10% for fish, 40% for trophy fish, 25% for animals, and 50% for krakens and megs. For a link to these food rates, check the description below. This extra health and food could be the difference between winning and losing. What's that you say? You don't feel like fishing and cooking meat? Well, there's a quick solution that many experienced pirates don't even know. Shipwrecks. Barrels on shipwrecks always have cooked fish, chicken, pork, shark, and even kraken and megalodon. So while you're out looking for chances to PVP, stop at a couple shipwrecks to grab yourself some premium cooked meat. Tip number four, know your ship. What are the advantages of your ship over other ships? The sloop is the fastest with a headwind. It's also the easiest to maneuver and navigate around rocks and small islands. It's also really easy to keep it from sinking. 
The Galleon is fastest with a Tailwind. Also, it has the most firepower, but it's slow to turn and stop, and if the crew isn't working as a tight unit, the galley won't be very efficient out on the seas. The brig is fastest with a crosswind, and basically in between the sloop and the galleon when it comes to maneuverability and firepower. Know these speeds and advantages, and how to use them to outwit and outplay other crews and ships. Each ship can outpace every other ship, so if you see your enemy coming and can get a head start, then you can usually get some distance and take away their element of surprise. Which is our next tip. Tip number five, the element of surprise. This tip may not surprise you. Sorry, dad joke. But it's a good reminder that if you can get the first shot off or hit them with a powder keg before they even know you're there, then that gives you a huge advantage. Always look for any ways to hit somebody first. I'm not just talking about tucking on their ship, but you can sneak up on a crew while they're on an island doing a quest. With their sails up fighting a meg, or even better, right after they fight a meg so that you can steal all their juicy loot. You could always do one of my favorite things, and that's attack a ship that's getting krakened. Nothing like teaming up with Karen to give you the advantage over another crew, am I right? Alright, that's going to do it for this video. Five quick tips that can give you the advantage over other pirates in the Sea of Thieves. If you like this video, please consider subscribing and help me reach my goal of becoming a Sea of Thieves partner. It requires 20,000 subscribers, and although I'm already halfway there, I still have a long way to go. And if I've not yet earned your sub, please let me know in the comments below how to improve so that I can learn from you. Also, if you haven't followed me yet on Twitch, be sure to follow me there for my next stream. I'll be setting a regular streaming schedule very soon, and I'd love to hang out and chat with you live. Also, be sure to follow me on Twitter for any announcements about live streams, new videos, giveaways, and just general gaming talk. Thanks again for watching, and we'll talk to you later.